is my hundredth video and I'm excited about it. I I love sharing my love of nails with you all and I hope to have more and more videos coming out. So let's get to it. What I'm doing today is it's going to be a two-part video. Not two parts. I'm going to release two parts. It's just the first part we are going to be using Unigella um, full nail tips and we're going to be using the Unigella nail glue together. Um, the last time I used this, I used it with a different set of tips, uh, Marcap. So we're going to see how it works together. So, so first we're going to size and yes, I may, I love this shape and I love this brand and I love these tips. So I may have to shape the back of them because it looks like I'm almost out. I need to order some. I just have not got around to it. Now, generally a number two fits my thumb, which it does. And these are pre-etched, but I will tell you this right now. I will come back and etch them again. So we're going to put that over there. That's our thumb. Let's see. That's too big for that. Oh, that fits nicely on the middle finger. So we'll put that there. Um, I'm hoping this eight is not too small. No, that fits pretty good. And if it that one fits... It may fit this one. If not, we're going to have to do some filing. That does not fit. That would absolutely hurt if I tried to. That fits pretty good, though. Okay. Now the pinky. I, let's see, that's too big. Let's go with this one. Yep, that looks pretty good. And we have our five nails. And what I'm going to do is off camera, I'm going to buff my nails and re-etch these and then we'll, we'll put them on. All right. I went ahead and put three on and I was just going to show you the last two. So we're not here forever. And people's got important things to do. So I'm going to put what I call a slip layer down on. And mind you, I'm doing my dominant hand. So all this I'm brushing on with my non-dominant hand. I put just a little bit on that. Pick up the tip, which is really hard with these stabbies. And I'm going to get a little bit. Put a little bit on here. May have been too much. I hope not. And I start here. And I push my way back and we are just going to flash that real quick and if anybody anything gets out around the cuticles you can take a a cuticle bit and it'll come right off it's actually really easy okay I flashed that and now I'm gonna do this one and um, then I'll put them in the regular lamp for 60 seconds to finish the cure because I always do that now let's get this and then after this is done and I buffed them and everything else we are going to do a dip mani you will be dipping with me today okay middle and then I just slide back little firm pressure underneath the lamp I got out my nail drill my e-file and I'm just going to go ahead and try and make sure that there's none of that. Yeah, see there's some, but it generally, yeah, see it comes right off. Don't need a high speed. It, oh, there we go. I need to do the around here anyway, because I'll show you my little trick here in a second. Okay. I'm going to do this off screen so I can see a little better and I don't hurt my cuticles or myself. All right, so I have went back in with the e-file. I'm just going to move that out of our way. I cut them back. I, I, uh, 
filed the tips. Now I'm going to buff them a little bit with my 180-100 grit. Because I'm going to be using dip powder, yes, but I want it to stay. I'm not using peel base on this hand. So I need this. I need this roughed up so the dip will adhere. Well, I should say the dip base. Could I use the e-file? Yes. But sometimes I like to give my hand a break from using the e-file so much. And hand file. So let me get this done and I'll be back. Okay, all buffed up. So let me show you what we're using today. Let me turn that fan off because I'm getting ready to use powders. So I am doing a mani using Cosmic Nails products. Um, I'm using Tequila Sunrise, which is a amazingly beautiful foil um, mix. It's stunning. Then I'm using Time Machine, which is, let me pop it, I didn't put the lid on right, which is this beautiful brown, and I'll show you why I chose those two colors, because not only does she do dips, which I have used acrylic with, monomer with, these are monomer usable, they are both, so, because I wanted to use these cute little foxes, these mini decals, on my nails and aren't they the cutest and I also because they are are clear I'm gonna be using Madame Glam white on the back of them so they show up a little better and I'm also gonna be using some stripes some black stripes from her so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure we're all dusted off make sure all the stuff is off because we don't want to get into that and Okay, I'm back. I had to get a few things that I completely forgot to put in my tray. I generally like to get a tray together of what I'm using, and I completely forget my dipping trays and my finger rest and my water for the decal. Yeah, it's already been one of those days. Okay, so I will be using the her base and her activator. Now, I did use, when I put these nails on, I did use her bond and it's really 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 good okay and i'm also going to be using the stamper method for the decals because i've got to put a white background on them so i'll put it on this and then slip it into the uv light so there's that all right so we're going to get right into this um i'm going to do a quick clean i will take my alcohol and clean these out real quick because I can see some shimmer in this one um, I need to get some new one of these they just last forever okay so tequila sunrise and time machine so for this Manny I think what I will do is I'm going to do a little kind of color blocking on this thumb and probably this finger and then I'll do something with the rest so I'm going to open the base and don't come at me I am <laughs> I am the worst about wiping off my brush sorry but not sorry it's just I'm not that great at I I should do it but I Generally don't okay so what I'm gonna do I think I'm going to do a V so I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna come down this way see if I can make a V with my brush there we go actually that's pretty good and I am going to dip it into that and we're going to let it set, and then we'll do a second one. Oh, that's pretty. 
Okay. So on this first finger, let me move these back just a hair. On this first finger, I think I'm going to do all over the foil. And even though I'm using base and not um, gel, I am going to pour over the first. And then the second, I will lay it in so I get all those foils. But, oh boy, that's pretty. Oh boy, that's pretty. Let's pick that off. Okay, get everything patted down. Now we're going to come back, we're going to take our own handy dandy brush, brush that down, and we're going to do the V. Now I could use striping tape to do this, I could, but I don't. On me and striping tape do not have a great history together. Okay, I'm gonna dip that. Oh, that's so pretty. I'm glad I went with that one. Okay, on this one, I'm just gonna gently brush that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour more in there. But I'm going to shake it a little bit because when you shake it, it brings all the glitters and the foils up. So when we go to lay it in there, I'll get all the good stuff. And generally, when I have, when I'm wearing full coverage tips, I only do two layers because I have the strength from the tips. So I don't need multiple layers of the dip. Set. And what I'll do is I'll come back and hand place some foils. Oh, that is pretty. Now, let's brush this because the rest of this is going to be that. Come on, jiggle, jiggle. Okay, let's see. Unlike jelly, you do have to work, depending on how warm your room is you're working in, you do have to work kind of fast or it'll dry and then you get nothing and it's really frustrating. I'll pat that down. Okay, I'll use my stiff brush because those are being a pain in the butt. That is so pretty. So now I have my water marbling tool. And what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll pick up some of those foils. There we go. And place them. What I'll do first is go like this, get some in the tray. get them on as fast as I can before this dries out and I can't put any more on. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll just pour a little bit over just to seal that what's already on there. There we go. Now we'll just let that dry. Oh, stuck my finger in it. That's nice. Let's go ahead and do this. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Mm, I do like that. Okay. Now, second coat. I love doing my own nails because it's an artistic outlet. I've always, I've always dabbled in art. Nothing serious. I did one stroke painting. I did watercolors. I've done but nothing like totally serious like I just have fun because it's an outlet for me okay 
I'll let that sit and then I'll clean it up. This one looks good. And I do have a clear. I will put, be putting over this. Okay. Now I think on the two middle, I think I'm going to do, I've changed my mind. I think I'm going to do brown on these because that's where my, my foxes are going to go. I think on the pinky, I'm going to do opposite of the thumb. Hopefully it's a little cool in my house today. We got some snow here and just a dusting, but it makes it longer for this to dry, which is what I want when I'm doing nail art. I didn't re know how this brown would look with this foil, but man, it does look good. All right. Now, little dippity doo. And honestly, if you guys have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask down in the comments. I, I will answer it as best to my ability. If I can't, I will ask somebody who does know. We are not gatekeepers here. We love to help. Oh, wow, that looks good. Okay, now let's, let's attempt this little V on the little pinky. That's not going as well as I had hoped. It's like you have to do it opposite. Okay, it may not be as pretty as the other one. But it is, it's a peak, so we'll do that. And that's going straight into this one. We'll let that sit. Okay, again, we come back and we dust dust. next coat I want to actually lay into it. I should have this on my left side, but I don't, and I keep crossing my hand. Let's move this. Yeah, that's nice. And if you see anything you like from Cosmic, I have a code that's Mary Eva 10. It'll save you a little bit. Everything I'm showing is available on the site. And Christy is really good about getting that needs to be cleaned up. Getting um, dips out quickly. So clean up that cuticle. Oh, that looks nice. So I would definitely that's why I did that. Um, order from her. And I'm not saying that because she's my friend in real life, but her products are amazing. When she asked me to come on as an influencer, I was like, yes, please. She's an amazing person with amazing talent. I for beautiful things. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to the middle in the ring. I'm going to go ahead and activate. Oh, if I can get my activator open. And I have, <laughs> I drop it on first, then I come back and I'll brush it. Maybe 
different than somebody else. But hey, you know, do what's right for you. What you feel comfortable with, what you think works, that's this whole nail game. Oh, that looks really nice. All right, now get those off and we're gonna do brown on this. It would be easier probably if I did that. Okay. That was easier using that. And if you're wondering what I'm using my finger rest it was on my last video it's from liquid layers and I put the link in the description so if you wanted to you could go get it okay let's get this because I'm gonna have to I think that's good I'll just clear coat that too Man, this is going to be so woodsy and so pretty. It, yeah, it's almost like fall, but still not fall. I'm, I'm over the winter colors right now. I know that's sad to say, but I am. I am thoroughly over them. I am. I still like my darks. That's why. Um, that's why I'm using these. I will always like my darks, but there are some summer cover colors like the corals and the teals and the sage, spring colors like sage green that I adore. Okay, I'm putting this back. That'll clean up later and we just have to brush this off. And do one more coat. And we will be done and I can clear coat and then activate and then we can do some filing. Cut around the circle as good as you can. Now this is a clear back so I've got to put white on it so it shows up on the, oops, okay, into the water it goes. I'm going to do one at a time. And I'm using Riverwalk from Madame Glam for the back of it, and we're going to use that. This is next, but first let's do the hard part. And I have brushed them off and wiped them off with alcohol. Um... If I wanted to, if I was leaving it clear, I would probably do a, um, a layer of dip ba or a layer of gel base to, um, make it look a little better, but I'm putting white on the, the back of it. Kind of need my tweezers. So this should be good. Okay. I'm going to get a paper towel because what you want to do is you want to take it out of the water. Come here. Put it on the paper towel, like so. Dab the back, and then slide it off. And what I'm gonna do is, before I slide it completely off, we're gonna put it on there. Now, see how clear that is? Now, what we're gonna do is take off the excess water because with gel, we don't want this. I am literally gonna take that out of the stamper for now. And I am going to take my wipe take a lot off this because we don't want now I'm just going to coat the back of this try not to get it on my stamper if it does you can get it off with um, oh uh, tape I'm gonna put it in there for 30 seconds in my white and let that now we will cut out the other one if I can find my scissors
trouble by YouTube. And um, it helps hold them on. I just forgot to get it. It's this. So, on my nail, I'm going to put a little bit, oh, right here. And it has to dry. Once, once it goes clear, it's dry. So we'll just do that because I don't know where on my nail. Ooh, isn't that pretty with the iridescence? But once it dries, and I could turn my fan on over here, which I might do to hurry up and dry it. We're going to take this out, put it back in my stamper. And we are just going to lay it on. Oh, okay. Please don't say it's completely stuck yet. It's not, thank God. That was my fault. That was not the fault of anything here today. And then I'm just going to press it down into the sticky stuff. Because I don't want to say the actual, oh, it is sticky, sticky. You could take a silicone tool if you wanted and smooth it down. Okay. Yeah, that looks so much I want to take some of these really skinny lines and do the V. Let's see how that's going to work. First, well, let's put the lid on this. I'm the queen of spill, so better to be safe than sorry. So let's try the, the thumb first. All right. Oh, that really does help. That's nice. And all these opinions are my own. I am not paid to say this. Um, I would not be working with this company if I absolutely did not agree with her products if I didn't like them. Yeah, it's, it's actually pretty good. For me, that's pretty good. Trust me on that. For freehanding it, not, I know I need it.
I'm going to be using gold chrome from Natum Glam to go around my foxes. And I don't know if you all know this, but with this gold chrome... <laughs> Here we are. Let's put these away. I will oil and then we'll have the reveal pictures. Let's get these oils and while I'm oiling I want to thank all of you for hanging out with me, watching me do my nails, hopefully getting some inspiration. Because like I said, we are not gatekeepers here. I want to help all those who need help. And I have questions a lot of times, so thank you for joining me for my 100th video, and stay tuned. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you can see the next one's coming out.